Here comes game number one from Wargaming Without Borders. Before I start, I just want a little disclaimer that these pictures may not be the best because the light was shining in through through a window, which was like right in front of the uh, vent hall we were at, and it made some things look kind of dark and some things look really bright. So mostly on the dark side. Anyway, this is against Andrew and his Demons of Chaos, featuring Bellacor in a 2,000 point tournament. That's going to be interesting. So he's got some Beast of Nurgle with Epidemius, he's got a Skull Cannon, he's got some Plague Bearers, I think around 30 in uh, this frame. And he's got Bellacor hiding behind a building and another, th another 30 Plague Bearers. He also has a BSB in, his, in the other unit of Plague Bearers, I believe. And for me, I kind of had these knights out in the middle just to throw them off a bit during the deployment stage. It's battle line, if you didn't read that already. And I got steam tank in the center, and then I pretty much turtled up with all the guns and some demigriffs and my block full of characters and the archers. I put the engineers with my archers because I don't want the random demon's magic phase to nuke each individual en engineer, well, potentially. It's a good strategy for uh, playing against demons. So he moves up, he flies Bellicor behind this building to kind of hide from the cannons, I guess. And he basically just moves up to the walls. His cannon aims to fire at my cannon. In the magic phase, he gets uh, minus one strength and toughness on this thing, or minus two, minus d3 toughness, I think it was. I just let it go because it wasn't going to get shot at or in combat anytime soon. And over here, he shot through the cannon and only did one wound, or two wounds, fortunately. We go on to my first turn. Uh, Steam Tank moves up to get a bead on Epidemius. And the knights also walk up a bit. There's no f point in advancing. I think I moved both my Hellblasters up because they were just out of range for things, too. And my Demigrips advance. Oh, I think in the first magic phase there, he uh, actually killed a Demigriff with a Pendulum, perhaps? Yeah, that sounds right. I just dispelled the spell he had on me because I had extra dice left over and not much to do. And I got Harmonic Convergence off on the cannon because really it's the only thing that's going to benefit from it anyway since I moved the Hellblasters. And you never know, you could roll a 1 to wound and that would suck. So the cannon ends up taking out the Skull Cannon, which was a <laughs> nice shot. Always li gotta like it when you roll like 5 or 6 wounds on that first shot. And really, uh, now Andrew's on the back foot. I forgot to mention too, during his magic phases throughout the entire game, not much eventful happens. Uh, I think he has to roll on his own guys, but other than that, I think he got plus one ward save in this turn. <coughs> Anyways, he does a little bit more adjusting, moves Epidemius's unit around a bit. I think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive, but he's naturally scared of the Hellblasters. And he's also just sticking Bellicor behind the building still. Uh, what's this showing? This is showing his magic phase, which did nothing. I think I managed to dispel everything, or he failed to cast something, and his magic phase ended. Good use of Bellicor. So are you enjoying the snoozer of a game? It doesn't get much more interesting. Well, yet. Uh, again, Steam Tank angles to th shoot at Epidemius. I didn't do anything to him the previous turn, by the way. I just fell short with Ken. And we keep on moving out. You see, I got my engineers on either side of the archer block to... Oh, if you want to call it a block to uh, take advantage of the uh, re-rolls for the artillery die and his blizzard skill. I think my hell cannon, or my hell blaster does shoot at something this turn, doesn't do much, and the cannon, I think, kills a couple plague bearers. I tried to snipe the small bit of Bellicor's base that I could see, but nothing happened. In his turn, yet more shifting around, Bellicor still hides behind the building. I think he should have been going for broke now. He's kind of on the back foot, right? I killed his hell cannon. He needs to make something happen. His magic phase hasn't been very good. He dropped a toughness on the demigriffs, or was it something? Yeah, I think it was the toughness. And then uh, I think I dispelled everything, or again, he failed to cast something. Over here, this is just everything moving around. I'm not really getting that close, kind of staying out of engagement range, just because I have the advantage with my guns. There's no real point in moving up. I get harmonic convergence off on the cannon again. I should have done the bubble, because I think my hellblasters were in range this turn. I just wasn't thinking when I did it. And I guess I didn't want to risk a misfire either, or miscast. I think this is showing I did a couple wounds off of the uh, Plague Bearers, 
and not much else. I might have taken out a beast of Nurgle. And there again, I think showing a couple of plague bearers got killed. And I'm not even sure I got a beast of Nurgle or not. So demons go on to their fourth turn. And Bellacor flaps his wings and goes back to the building where he was before. Things are about to get interesting. Trust me. Don't worry. They're about to get interesting. And he shuffles around his stuff. I think he's preparing. If I charge my demigriffs in, he's got the counter charge with the other plague rare unit. Uh, this is showing that he did a pendulum through my steam tank and killed a couple knights. Didn't even wound the steam tank, but the knights ran. They fled. Not off the board yet. Uh, this is showing that I misfired with my steam tank. I couldn't fire the steam cannon, so I had a nice shot on Bellicor if I get rid of that wall first, but it didn't happen. And this is showing the knights failing to rally and going off the board. So now we're pretty even with the skull cannon and the knights. Still like a few points in my favor, but not enough to swing a win. So now I need to do something. I move the steam tank towards Bellicor just to get him in going in the right direction. And move other stuff around. I actually spread out the engine <laughs> the archers this turn so both my engineers can get to the hell blasters, which are a little farther away than I had originally intended. So nice use of uh, unit formations there. This is a hell blaster firing at the unit of plague bearers. By the way, that unit I have to kill for my secondary objective. It's killed the opponent's largest core unit and they're both the same size, so I just chose the one closer to my guns. And again, I don't think cannons do much at all this turn. I had also got Harmonic Convergence off, I think, the bubble, or maybe he stopped it, I can't remember. Okay, so here's where shit goes down. Bellicor jumps out from behind the building, and has this sweet pendulum shot right down the flank. And he gets it off, kills a demigriff in the process, but also miscasts and kills himself. So that is pretty much the game, and that is really dumb, and I naturally be upset if that happened to my 500 point model. But I guess that's the risk you take when you're running a... Oh, fuck, I used running again. No! Don't say that. When you're using a 500 point model that's a level 4 wizard. That's the risk you take. So I got harmonic convergence off again. Shit moved around. Demigriffs got a little bit closer because now I don't got to worry about a spellcaster anymore. Uh, this is what stuff looks like after cannons and hellblasters shoot. I kill a beast of Nurgle, maybe and some more plague bearers. In his final turn, he has no choice but to charge and try and make stuff happen. So he does indeed charge the plague bearers into the demigriffs. He tried to do both, but one of them fell short. And he charges the uh, Epidemius unit and the Beast of Nurgle into the steam tank. After combat, here he does three wounds on the steam tank, which was pretty na nasty actually. He's got that thing where they're poison on a 5-up. That's really good on Beast and Nurgle. And here, the Demigriffs just own the Plague Bearers, and there's like two left or something, so... Pretty sure I'm going to get my objective. Going into my final turn. Uh, I charge the Knights into the Plague Bearers, just to be sure. Why not? And then I really, at this point, there's no real point of rolling the Hellblasters on those Plague Bearers, but I did anyway, before I realized, oh hey, it's the last turn. It's not going to matter. And I think he does a couple more wounds to the steam tank. Uh, I don't know why I didn't take a picture of that. Anyways, uh, Empire victory for me. Got my secondary objective. And going on to turn uh, round two.